Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this um, video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this super fun, cute festival top. So stay tuned and crochet along with me. All right, what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need yarn. I'm using three different colors of yarn. I'm using a white, and then I'm using the Big Twist um, Forced Green color, and then I'm also using a fun color, the Big Twist um, Hot Pink color. And what I'm going to do first is when you're making the triangle, I'm going to make it in a magic ring. So I'm going to start off with my magic ring. Oh, and I'm using a five and a half millimeter hook and of course some scissors. So I'm going to chain two and that is going to count as a stitch. And then I'm going to do two double crochets. I'm going to chain two. Now I'm going to do three double crochets in the magic ring. I'm going to chain two. Now I'm going to do three more double crochets in the magic ring. I'm going to chain two again and here you'll see you have three clusters of um, double crochets in your magic ring and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten my magic ring so pull it tight and then I'm going to slip stitch to the very first stitch that I made so the top of that chain two is where I'm slip stitching to. And then I'm going to fasten the white off. I'm just going to work this through the back just a little bit here. And I like to tie mine and work them in. You don't have to do both, but I like to do that. Alright, so now you have three areas that are the chain two areas, so you see the three little holes in there. So now I'm going to start with the pink, and I'm going to start in the chain two area here. And I'm just going to, again, I'm going to chain two. So one, two, and now I'm going to do two double crochets in this stitch. two. I love this fun color. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do go over to this next space. So this next uh, chain two space here. So I'm going to go over there and I'm going to do three double crochets in that space. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do three more double crochets in that chain two space that we've already worked in. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do three double crochets in the next stitch. I'm going to chain two, then I'm going to do three double crochets in the next stitch, or in the same stitch, so three more double crochets in that same stitch. I'm going to chain one again, and then I'm going to do, go back to this first set that we did here, so that first chain two space. I'm going to do three double crochets in that space. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to slip stitch to this 
first um, chain two that we made. And I'm going to fasten off my peak now. Again, I just kind of like to tie it to secure it down. You can work in your ends later. So now I'm going to switch to the green. So again, I'm just going to join my green at my chain two space. And I'm going to chain two. And now I'm going to do two double crochets in this chain two space. I'm going to chain one. And then the chain one space, I'm going to go over to this chain one space. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to do three double crochets in that chain one space. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to do go over to the chain two space and I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain two. Now I'm going to do three more double crochets in that chain two space that we just worked in. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go over to that next chain one space. And I'm going to do three double crochets in that chain one space. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do three, go over to that, my chain two space. And I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain two. Then I'm going to do three more double crochets. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go over to that next chain one space. I'm going to do three double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go over to that next space here. So it's the chain two space, the first space we worked in. And now I'm going to do three double crochets. And I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to slip stitch to that first one we made. So the top of the chain two. Then I'm going to fasten this off, cut it off. Then I'm going to switch back to white. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my white because I'm only using three colors in my triangle. Alright, I'm going to connect in the chain two space and then I'm going to chain two. And now I'm going to do two double crochets. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go to that chain one space from the previous round. And I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do the next chain one space from the previous round. And I'm going to do three double crochets in that space. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go to this chain two space. And in the chain two space, we're going to make three double crochets. Chain two. And I'm going to make three more double crochets. 
And guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean the world to me. Now I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to do three double crochets in that chain one space. chain one. I'm going to go to the next chain one space. I'm going to do three double crochets in that next chain one space. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go to our chain two space and I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do three more double crochets in that space. Now I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go to the chain one space and I'm going to do three double crochets in that space. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go to the next chain one space and do three double crochets in that space. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to go to our um, first chain two space that we worked in, so I'm going to now do three double crochets. I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to work in that first chain two space that we made. So I'm going to fasten off there, slip stitch to that, and then I'm going to tie this off. Alright, now I'm going to go back to my pink. So again, I'm going to connect right here. And so pretty much what you're doing, just if you want to make this bigger than I'm making it. So what you're doing is when you get the ch chain two spaces, you're going to do three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And then you're going to chain one. And then you're going to do three double crochets in each of the chain one spaces from before. Then when you get to the... Um, chain two spaces again you're going to do three double crochets chain two three double crochets and you're just going to keep following that over and over again and the parts that you're doing the three double crochets the chain two and the three double crochets is what's going to make your points so here we're going to continue though just chaining two and we're going to do three double crochets or two double crochets here, sorry, because our chain two counts as one. We're going to chain one. I'll pull this out a little bit better here. All right, we chain one. And now we're going to go to our chain one space and we're going to do three double crochets. Gonna chain one. We're going to go to our next chain one space and do another three double crochets. We're going to chain one. And we're going to do go to our next chain one space and do three more double crochets. We're going to chain one. Then we're going to go to our chain two space and we're going to do three double crochets in that chain two space. We're going to chain two, and then we're going to do three more double crochets. We're going to chain one, we're going to do three double crochets in that chain one space. We're going to chain one, then we're going to do three more double crochets. Go to chain one, go to the next chain one space, do three double crochets. Go 
we're going to chain one and then we're going to do to our chain two space we're going to our chain two space and we're going to do three double crochets we're going to chain two then we're going to do three more double crochets in that space we're going to chain one then we're going to go to our next chain one space and we're going to do three double crochets We're going to chain one, then go to our next chain one space, then do three double crochets. Then we're going to chain one, go to the next chain one space and do three double crochets. And chain one and go to our chain two space and we're going to do three double crochets we're going to chain two then we're going to slip stitch the first one that we made Alright, so I'm going to finish up with the green, so I've got one more color that I'm doing. Here, I'm just going to attach my yarn in the chain 2 space like I've been doing. Alright, so I'm going to chain 2. And I'm going to do 2 double crochets in that chain 2 space. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do three double crochets in the next space, in the next chain one space, I should say. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to do three double crochets in that next chain one space. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to do three double crochets in that next chain one space. Alright, I'm going to chain one, do three double crochets in the next chain one space. Again, if you like this video, please give it a like, make a comment, let me know what you would like to see on future videos. I'm going to chain one and do three double crochets in the chain two space. So, three double crochets. And you're going to chain two. And then you're going to do three more double crochets. Now you're going to chain one, and you're going to do three double crochets in that next chain one space. I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to go to the next chain one space and do three double crochets. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to do three double crochets in that next chain one space. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do three double crochets in that next chain one space. I'm going to chain one. Then on the next chain two space I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to do three more double crochets in that same space. I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to do three double crochets in the next chain one space. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do three double crochets in the next chain one space I'm 
and chain one. You do three more double crochets in that next chain one space. Chain one. Do three double crochets in that next chain one space. I'm going to chain one again, and then I'm going to go to the first chain two space we worked in. I'm going to do three double crochets here. Chain two. Then I'm going to just slip stitch to that first chain two space that I made. And I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to go ahead and tie this. Now guys, if you wanted yours or needed yours bigger, you need to go ahead and continue working the rounds just like I've been working them until um, you get to the size that you need for yours. But I am happy with the size for mine. Here. We've got one of our granny triangles made here, so we're going to make one more, and I just so happen to have one more made. So now what we're going to do is we're going to join, and it doesn't really matter because, you know, it's a triangle. All sides are pretty much equal, so it doesn't really matter where you join at, but I'm going to use to my... Uh, really bright hot pink color to join. Now if you wanted your join to um, blend in then you could use the green or you could even use the white if you wanted it to stand out um, with the white more. But I am going to use my pink color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both sections and I'm going to put my pink yarn in the middle right like this. And then I'm going to go to my right side. So in your right side you'll have where you see your last double crochet and then you're going to have your two chain stitches here. So I'm going to go into that first chain stitch that I made here. So I'm just going to insert my hook into that one of those stitches right there. So it's kind of the back loop of that stitch. And then I'm going to find the same stitch on this side over here. So I've got my one, two, three. And so I'm going to find that first chain that I made or the second chain on this one actually that I made right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the tail and then I'm going to just pull it through. So I started with the right side so I'm going to pull this through both and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hook and I'm going to insert it into the left side first. So I go to that next stitch that I made and insert it in my left side first then my right side second and you go back and forth like that. And I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through both, right like this. Now this time, I'm going to go my right side first. So I go my right side first, my left side second. And just make sure you're matching them up evenly. So um, double crochet per double crochet and then chain per chain. So I'm just going to again pull through both. And now I'm going to go with my left side first. So left side, and then my right side, I'm just working in that back loop, and then I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to pull through both. And so, as you can see, you have like a line now, and I'm making a line with that pink all the way up, and I'm connecting them. So with mine, I'm going to do about nine, but you know, if you want better coverage, do more. If you want less coverage, do less. So that is completely up to you. So now I'm going to start with my, let's see here, what side did I start with this past time? I started with my left side. So now I'm going to start with my right side. So I go through one stitch on the right side. Oh, look, I skipped that chain, didn't I? It's not good. So make sure you work in your chain. So I'm going to go through one stitch in the chain, the back loop, and I'm going to go through that back loop of the chain on the next one. And then I'm just going to yarn over, pull through both. And now I'm going to go the left side first, so the back loop of the left, the back loop of the right, yarn over, pull through both. And then I'm going to start now with the, let's see here, the right side first, so back loop of the right, back loop of the left. And I'm going to yarn over, pull through both or all, everything I should say. So now you see how it's kind of coming together. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to do three more for me. Now I'm going to start on the left side. 
and then go to the right, back loop of both. And I'm just going to go back and forth till I get as many as I need. Let's see here. What side did I start on this last time? I started on the left side, so I'm going to go to the right. And then I add that chain again. Now I'm going to go to the left first. In the right, yarn over, pull through everything. And I forgot to count, so let's count now. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got nine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my yarn and fasten that off. You can kind of stretch it out here, play with it a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the bottom, connecting the bottom. So here, I'm going to turn it over so my wrong side is facing. And I'm just going to start in one of these back stitches here. So I'm going to, again, you've got one, two, three, and then you've got one of your chains. So I'm going to start in that back loop of the chain, and I'm going to do single crochet, so I'm going to attach my yarn, by the way, chain one, and then I'm going to start in that first stitch that I just worked, that I just um, attached to, and I'm going to just do single crochets in the back loop all the way down. Right. When you get to that join, you're just going to work in a um, stitch here, and then you're going to go ahead and go into the join stitch too. And you're just going to keep on working all the way down, back loop only. So for you, you may want to make your triangle larger. Um, I would just hold it up to myself and measure myself, make sure it covered my breast area um, exactly the way I want it to. So, or you could make yours smaller. You could, you know, maybe you don't want it to cover as much. So um, you could do either way. And so now what we're going to do is we are going to start working when we get down to this very last one, we're going to start working on our straps area. Let me get, so I'm going to work in one of those chains, the chain twos, on the corner here. Alright, so now we're going to start working on our straps. So this is how it looks so far, and you can see the little line there, which is exactly what I wanted. So now we're going to work on our straps. So. What I would really do is measure around myself and probably do about, oh gosh, I'm going to say I would do about double what I am around for the straps, but I think I'm going to do about 60 chains. So you can chain however many you need, just kind of, you know, keep in mind that you have these two areas here, so the areas that go over the breast, and then you have your chain there. So I'm going to do about, yeah, 60. So.
So actually what I'm doing is I'm chaining here and I chained 25. So now what I'm going to do after I finish chaining is I'm going to, and you might want your chain a little bit shorter too because we're going to kind of have a tie in the back. So now I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to work into this back bump here. So you see this little bump that comes up when you turn your work here? That's what I'm going to work into and I'm just going to do half double crochets into this back bump. I'm going to work in the second one from my hook. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to see that back bump and you may want to make sure that you um, are chaining loosely when you do this. That way you don't have to force your hook in. Alright, so I'm at my very last one, so I'm just going to work into that very last one here. And now I'm just going to do um, double crochets all the way down. Kind of turned on me a little bit, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do my half double crochets, keep going, half double crochet. All the way down. So you see this is the right side again. Here I'll show you. This is the right side again. So now you're going to work half double crochets into all of these stitches all the way down. You're working in both loops this time. Okay, so I'm at my last stitch here. Then I'm going to do the same thing I did before. So I'm just going to chain 25. Remember to do it loosely. So now I'm going to turn, I'm going to half double crochet again in that back bump all the way down and I'm going to start in the second one from my hook 
Now, you may not want yours quite as long since it's going to kind of lace up a little bit. You may want yours shorter and want the back open a bit more. Um, if you want that, um, just don't chain as many. You can um, leave some of the chains off and um, you'll just have a shorter part that goes around your back. And um, so you'll have the laced up just a little bit more. Or, you know, if you're smaller, then you can... Um, chain fewer. I would just make sure I get a good reading of how um, my measurements or what my measurements are I should say across my um, like the bottom of where my bust hits like around my back so kind of where your bra area would fall um, the latch part on your bra area that is All right, now we're just going to slip stitch to the first um, stitch we made here. And this is going to go like this. It doesn't go on the bottom. It's going to go like this on the top. So you just slip stitch right in here. And you're going to fasten it off. So you see here how that looks now on the back side and I'm going to go ahead I'm going to tie it you probably work the ends in also would be a great thing to do or you can crochet over them so this is what what it looks like on the front side now all right guys now I'm going to start a row with the stargazer stitch so I'm going to start with the back side facing me and there's going to be a back loop here that you're going to work into so if you look at it on the right side you can see there is like one two loops on the front and then you turn it over and there's that back loop there so I'm going to work this in the back loop that you see right here so that's where I'm going to connect my yarn so I'm just going to find that first stitch I'm going to work in the back loop again, and I'm going to just pull it through, and now I'm going to chain three, so one, and I can pull that tighter, two, three, and now I'm going to go in that second chain from my hook, I'm going to insert my hook in that second chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then I'm going to insert my hook in that next chain I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop and guys if you don't know how to do this stitch um, I've got a video on this so and I'll link it in the description below and um, try to remember in the tag up above to link it so I'm going to insert my hook in the first um, stitch there so the first one that I attached my yarn to and I'm going to yarn over pull up a loop so now I have four loops total on my hook and now I'm going to insert my hook into that next stitch and then I'm going to yarn over pull up a loop so now I have five loops on my hook I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through all five and you see here how it made that little kind of and then and I chain one at the end sorry I chain one at the end there and you see how it makes like a little hole right here so on my next stitch what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook into the hole that that made and I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull up a loop. Now for the next one I'm going to insert my hook right here between this um, first kind of stitch and that second one there. So I'm going to insert my hook here, yarn over, pull up a loop and then I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch that it's connecting there. So I'm going to yarn over 
pull up a loop. So now I have four. I'm going to insert my hook into that next stitch. I'm going to yarn over, pull up a loop. So I have five. And I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to insert my hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now I have six loops. Now I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to pull through all of them, and then I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to keep that going all the way to the end. So I'm just going to repeat that process all the way to the end. And again, I have a foundations video on how to do this if you want to watch that video also. But it pretty much tells you the same thing that I've told you here. It just goes a little bit slower and goes over it a few more times. I really love the stitch as an accent. It's one of my favorite accent stitches.
All right, guys, so we're at our last one here, and our last one's just going to be a half. So we're going to do the same thing we've been doing, insert our hook in kind of that eye or the middle there, then insert our hook into that next, um, into the post of that next stitch, and then insert our hook into that first stitch that we already worked in, and then insert our hook into the next stitch right here. So that's going to be five, and we're going to... Um, round over, loop over, pull through all, and then we're going to chain one, and then we're going to turn. So this is what the front will look like, and then we're working in the back now. And so we're going to actually, we're going to do half double crochet right here into this stitch. So into this actual stitch right here. So not the not the eye here, but that stitch right here on top. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the eye. We're going to do two half double crochets in that eye. And you can see what it looks like from the front here, so the right side, how that looks. And then you're going to keep going. And when you, you're going to work into that next eye, and you're going to do two half double crochets in that next eye. And here you're just working in those eye stitches. So you're just going to go to the next eye. So the next kind of the round part that you made, that chain one, and you're going to do two double crochets in each one all the way down. So just in kind of that middle spot, that little eye, the chain one that you made. So you're going to just do half double crochets in that, two of them, all the way down until the end. All right, so we have one more to go. So again, this last one, I'm just going to do two half double crochets. And then in this very last stitch here, so that corner stitch, I'm just going to do one half double crochet to finish off this round. And now I'm going to cut my yarn, tie it off. And now I'm going to switch back to my green color so you can see how the front looks. And this is just so super, super cute. It kind of reminds me of a watermelon. Now that I'm looking at all these super fun colors. I don't know. What do you guys think? What's it remind you of? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to attach my green yarn again. And again, I'm going to be working in that back um, loop only. So... Just attach your yarn to that first stitch again in this back loop only so that front stands out really well. And I'm going to chain one and then I'm just going to do one half double crochet all the way down in that back loop. Oops. 
So again, if you missed it before, here's your front loop. So you have your front loops and then you have your back loop. So if you turn it over and look straight on, the, your back loop is the one behind. All right, so I'm at my last one. So now what I'm gonna do in this last one, so I'm gonna be working down the side. So I'm going to do three half double crochets in this last one. So I've already done one, there's two and three. And then I'm going to half double crochet in this next kind of stitch there around the side. I'm gonna half double crochet in this post right here. Then I'm going to half double crochet in the next kind of little stitch here and then I'm going to half double crochet in that first stitch that we made and so for me guys I don't like um, cutting my yarn so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn so now I'm actually making kind of the holes where we're going to um, lace it up later so I did a single crochet in the first stitch I'm going to chain one and I'm going to skip one, I'm going to do a single crochet in the next stitch, I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to skip one, do a single crochet in the next stitch, and then I'm going to chain another one, and then I'm going to just do a single crochet in that next stitch so you won't skip one that time. And then I'm going to slip stitch here in that next stitch, and now I'm going to turn, and I'm going to slip stitch in all these stitches until I get to my edge again. So just do one slip stitch in each stitch all the way down. And when you get to that chain one space, just do your slip stitch in the chain one space. So one slip stitch again all the way down. And this is just because I don't like to cut my yarn. I'm doing it like this. So slip one slip stitch all the way down. So now you're back at that edge. And you've already done one half double crochet in that edge. So I'm going to do two more half double crochets in the edge here and then I'm just going to half double crochet now all the way down in each stitch until I get here again so just one half double crochet all the way down in each stitch All right, so now I'm to the edge just about. So I've got one more stitch to the edge. 
So now at the edge, I'm just going to half double crochet decrease. So I'm going to go in to my first stitch, like I'm going to do a half double crochet. I'm going to yarn over, and then I'm going to go into the first stitch of the little triangle with the bralette there, and I'm going to um, put in my hook, yarn over, pull through. So I'm doing a half double crochet decrease and yarning over, and I'm pulling through all three. So now I'm just going to go up my bralette, again, half double crochets. And when I get to that um, chain one space here, I'm just going to work right into that space. So just one half double crochet in that chain one space. So now, when I get to the chain two space at the very top, I'm going to do one half double crochet in that chain two space, and now I'm going to chain. So I'm going to chain probably 75 because I want it to be nice and long, but make sure when you do this that you're chaining loosely because you're going to come back down and work on that back bump. Alright, so now I've got my 75, so I'm going to turn, and again you see this little back bump right here, so I'm going to work single crochets in the back bump, I'm going to do it all the way down, you should have 74 single crochets then all the way down. So when you get back down to your last one, you're just going to half double crochet again in that chain two space. So then it goes up like this right here. 
All right, so now we're just going to continue half double crocheting down the other side. So just one half double crochet in each stitch again. And then when you get to your chain one space, you just do one half double crochet in that chain one space. Alright, so when you get to the one where you're connecting, you're going to do, again, another half double crochet decrease. So you're going to insert your hook, just like you would do a half double crochet, and then you're going to insert your hook into the next one. So right here, this is the one you worked into, but you're going to insert your hook into both of those loops right there. And so you're going to do just like you would a half double crochet, but you're doing a decrease right here. You're pulling through all of it. And now you're just going to continue going up this other side, doing half double crochets again until you get to that middle chain two space. And then I'm going to again half double crochet in that chain 2 space and now I'm going to chain 75 again. Okay, so I've got my 75 again. Now I'm just going to turn and I'm going to work again in this back bump. I'm just going to single crochet in the back bump here all the way down one, and there should be 74 of these at the end. I'm starting from my second chain for my hook, just like I did last time. Now I'm back and I'm just going to do my half double crochet at the top here and then I'm just going to half double crochet all the way down again until I get to that next edge.
All right, so now that I'm at that last stitch here, I'm going to do my half double crochet decrease again. So I'm just going to go in that stitch and then I'm going to go into the first stitch here of my strap. I'm going to work over this end also, by the way. So I'm just going to ha do half double crochet decrease in that corner like I did on the other side. And I'm working over this little end right here now. I got two little ends there. So I'm going to work over both those little ends here. So again, I'm just half double crocheting all the way down. So now that I'm at the end here, in this final stitch here, I'm going to do three half double crochets. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to half double crochet right here in this pink stitch. And I'm going to kind of carry some of this with me. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and tie a little bit of this so it doesn't keep coming loose on me. So really that's the last thing you want. So I'm probably gonna carry this also. So here let me I don't know. I undid it. There. Alright. So again I'm just gonna half double crochet down. And guys, this doesn't have to be perfect by any means, okay? Okay, so I'm getting to that first one that I made there. Work over all these ends here. Alright, now I'm going to chain one. Come on, dude. I'm going to turn. And here's where I'm going to make where the little laces go. So I'm going to single crochet in the first stitch. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip one stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, and then skip one and single crochet in the next stitch. And um, just so you're... Um, you know you've got three spaces there that's really what you're looking for chain one spaces so now I'm going to slip stitch that first stitch made and then I'm just going to turn I'm going to put my yarn behind I'm going to turn and now I'm just going to slip stitch down again just like I did before on the other side and again I do it like this simply because I do not want to um, to cut my yarn off fasten my yarn off and um, weave in a whole bunch of ends. So that's really the only reason I did it like this. If you want to fasten your yarn off and attach it to the ends, um, please go right ahead and do that. So I'm slip stitching down, all the way down to where I started at. And then when I get to that um, first um, chain that I made or the double crochet that I made there, then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to keep working, I'm going to go back down to this stitch right here and I'm going to do two more half double crochets in that stitch. Oops, and two. Alright, and that's pretty much where I'm going to turn my stitch at, is right there. And then I'm going to just work all the way down here now, doing half double crochets. And again, I'm just working over these ends because I don't want to um, work them all in at the end. You don't have to do that. You can work all yours in at the end if that's what you want to do.
And guys, if you see like I did here, I didn't, um, this one didn't pull all the way to the back when I did it. So I'm just going to take another crochet hook here, or I could, so I've got a thing there. So I can just take that and kind of pull it to the back now. That way it doesn't look funny. All right. All right, so now we're just gonna slip stitch that first stitch we made. And we're gonna tie it off, work in any ends that we have not worked in yet. And I'm gonna to go to the back and I'm gonna cut off some of these little stragglers here too. All right guys, so I have everything um, tied off and all my ends weaved in so now the only thing we've got to do is we've got to make a tie for the back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, fun pink yarn here and I'm just going to chain so I'm going to just make a slip stitch and now I'm just going to chain that you can chain as many as you want um, I'll probably chain to about 200 maybe 150 200 somewhere around there so you can do it as um, long as you want to though but that's just a good guide so I will meet you back here when we are done chaining All right, guys, so I actually did 150. I think this is going to be long enough for me. So, but if you want it longer, go ahead and do more for you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my hook. I'm going to find these um, chain one spaces from earlier. And so remember, there should be three of them total on each side. So let's see here. Where's my chain? There's one, there's one, and there's one. So I'm going to start right about here and I'm just going to actually let me start from the front now that I think about it I'm just going to pull this through here and same thing on this side start from the front and just pull it through and then I'm going to try to get it even on both sides so let's see here now. It's even as I can anyway. That's pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to see if I can separate it just a bit. And of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. So now you're just going to lace them back and forth. Alright, now you got this cute little lace up right here. 
and you can just tie it in the back make a little bow if you want and there you go guys here's our cute little um, concert top hope you enjoyed making this with me if you did please consider subscribing to my channel and happy hooking everybody happy hooking